Hello everybody, it's Gary Halican here, and I've got some more minifigures to show you. This time we've got some common Riders to look at. So I got these on Timu, and there are four in this set. We've got common Rider Ichigo, Takeshi Hongo, and common Rider Nigo, uh, Hayato Ichimanji. And then we've got two Shocker Troopers, and I think they're basically the same, but they do have different heads. So let's see what we've got. So this one is one with silver gloves, so this should be Common Rider Ichigo, so we'll look at him first. And there's some good accessories with these because they come with a belt and a scarf, so a little bit more than your typical minifigure. And they're going to come with a couple different head options as well. So the belt looks like is going to fit over the leg pegs here. That looks pretty good. Let's see how the hands work. The hands tend to be the problem with these minifigures that I've been getting from Timu. They don't want to fit very well. So let's see how these are. Yeah, that's all right so far. Okay, so the hands went in okay there. Take his head off to put his scarf on. And we'll give him his hair piece. And each one of these comes with a stand as well. All right. So here we have Common Rider Ichigo. And he's awesome. As you can see, a lot of good detail. The armor's printed there on the chest. It's also printed on the back. And there's printing on the arms, the stripes, as well as little silver at the end going into his gloves the belt looks good it's simplified of course but it uh, still looks pretty good you can see the fan even in the center here if you can see it and i think the face looks pretty good too that looks like takeshi hongo all right so of course we have the helmet for him so we'll do our henshin and transform And the helmet doesn't really want to fit on very far. So I think that is where this other head will come in. So I might have got it on there too tight. See if we can get the helmet to come off. Okay, so the helmet is too tight for the head. So I think that is why we get this extra all black head here so that you can put the helmet on it and then just let it permanently be on there so you can use that instead of the regular unmasked head so let's try that and see how that works so there we go so with the helmet on the helmet looks great by the way if it'll focus on it for you there it goes so the helmet looks really good, actually. I wish it fit down on the head a little bit further. It's a little bit small, but it looks great. We end up having a really great looking, accurate looking Common Rider here. All right, so let's take a look at Common Rider Nego with the should be basically the same, but he'll have red gloves. And red boots. And 
and of course only one stripe on his sleeves. So their uniform is mostly the same, but it's a little bit different. Hands at least fit in pretty well with them. And it looks like the human head here is stuck in the helmet, so give me a second to get that out. And we'll get his hair on. So there we go. Here we've got Common Rider Nego. So you can see he's got the red gloves and the red boots. Otherwise, and one stripe on his sleeves. Otherwise, very similar. Actually, though, their armor is a little bit different color of green, if you can see it there. Um, Hayato Ichimanji here has a little bit darker green for the armor on his suit. Okay, we can transform and switch out his head. And there we go. I think the helmet is the same for both of them. But these look great. These are very accurate little common riders here. So we've got some great double rider action going. All right, let's look at our shocker troopers for them to fight. So these ones are a lot simpler. They're already mostly together. Okay, so there's Shocker Trooper 1. Looks pretty good. Looks like a fairly accurate representation of the Shocker uniform. There's no printing on the back or on the arms, though, so these are definitely less detailed than the riders themselves. And I think the other one is going to be the same, but it does have a different head. So, very slight differences in the face there. You can see this one does have different eyes and mouth than this one, but they are otherwise very similar. All right, so those are our new Common Rider minifigures. We've got the double riders, and we've got a couple shocker troopers for them to fight against. So these are really great, especially the riders themselves. They look awesome. So let me know in the comments if you've got these or if you have any other common riders or if you have any other cool minifigures. And we'll see you in the next review.